Operation Grim Sky, things are heating up and getting electric as two new operators, one attacker and one defender, join Team Rainbow, where they'll put their training to the test on a completely reworked Hereford base. The gentleman quietly burning a hole through this reinforced wall is Maverick. A one-armor, three-speed operator, Maverick comes equipped with the Surrey Torch. Unlike Thermite and Hibana, who are able to make large holes in reinforced walls, Maverick is able to burn his way through barriers and create holes of various sizes. It'll take up nearly all of your torch's fuel to create a hole you can actually move through, but what Maverick excels at is cutting out small, sneaky windows, creating sight lines nearly anywhere. The Surrey Torch is able to melt just about anything, like breakable walls, reinforced walls, castle barricades, deployable shields, floor hatches, Maestro's evil eye, and even defending operators. This is one of the most dynamic gadgets around, capable of melting holes of many shapes and sizes in the defending team's reinforcements. Any attacker can take advantage of Maverick's handiwork, but with the new AR-1550 or the M4 assault rifle in hand, he does just fine on his own. Maverick's torch is handy for eliminating enemy gadgets as well. Play peekaboo with bandit batteries and mute jammers to clear the way for Thermite or Hibana, or just open a little door for Twitch's drone to roll through and take care of business. For bigger holes, you'll need a steady hand. Move across a wall too quickly and the torch won't have enough time to cut through. Too slowly and you'll waste your limited fuel supply. Aiming down sights will help you maintain a consistent speed while ensuring those crisp, clean cutouts. And while it's not completely silent, Maverick's torch is pretty quiet, opening up possibilities for stealth, subterfuge, and so, so many deadly new sight lines. Defenders will have to be extra vigilant against small breaches, but Maverick needs to stay sharp as well. The Surrey Torch isn't much of a weapon, and its two meter range leaves Maverick vulnerable while he's crafting his latest work of art. A quick call out from a defender could leave you vulnerable to a flanking attack, so be sure to deploy that claymore wisely. Or you could use it deviously, planting it by a small breach hole as a trap for careless enemies. With all these new holes appearing in your defenses, it's nice to have a defender who offers some extra protection. That defender is Clash, the first shield-bearing defender in Siege. Her indestructible CCE shield covers the entire front of her body and comes with a built-in taser that slows and damages enemies within range, making her a formidable obstacle. Her taser operates on a charge and will refill whenever it's not active. Mind your battery level, though. If you drain the shield's charge completely, you'll have to wait until it fully recharges to use it again. To whip out her sidearm weapons, Clash has to put her shield on her back, where it will still offer some protection, just like other shields do. She can certainly get a kill in a pinch, but her main focus is crowd control. As a former riot officer with the British MPS, Clash is no stranger to close quarters action. Slowing down the attack makes the clock work in your favor, while drawing your enemy's attention has the added benefit of making them more susceptible to flanking attacks from your teammates. And let's not forget one of the most powerful things a shield can do, block enemy fire. Has that pesky maverick cut a hole into a reinforced wall and exposed your entire team? Plug it up with Clash. Sometimes physically blocking an enemy's progress is your best play, but don't be afraid to use your protection to your advantage. With three armor and one speed, Clash might seem like the furthest thing from a roamer, but her shield allows her to be in spaces where defenders normally fear to tread. Stroll outside for some early game scouting, and use your map knowledge to roam in areas where attackers can't easily get behind you. Your P10C or SPSMG sidearms mean enemies can't safely turn their back on you. But even with your shield up, you're not invincible. Thatcher can temporarily disable the taser with his EMP grenades. And Capitao's asphyxiating bolts can do serious damage to the slow-moving Clash, even with her shield equipped. Furthermore, Clash cannot melee with her shield. In fact, if an enemy manages to melee her, 
or if she gets hit with a concussion grenade from Zofia, she'll drop her guard momentarily and be partially exposed. But Clash is not one to be vulnerable for long, and getting through her stalwart defense will prove to be a tall order. Operation Grim Sky is set to seriously shake things up on both sides of the conflict. For more on Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to check out news.ubisoft.com. I was trapped for a long time. Lived and seen things you couldn't imagine. Now I see things in a different light. This is where you stop.